Hello, I'm Richard Phobes, the Bald Explorer, out on yet another walk. And this is the second in the series, a little mini series, I'm doing with Dave Ford. Hello, Richard. Hello, everybody. Hello, Dave, on the Jurassic Coast. So, if you didn't see, we've already made one previous video, which you can check out, which was at... Well, Winspit. Oh, oh, yeah. Worth Matravers is where we started. Down to the quarry. Winspit Quarry. Winspit yeah. Quarry. Well, we've moved a little bit... Uh, westwards from there. Yeah, well, we're now standing on the edge of a cliff. <laughs> yes, I won't push, I promise. <laughs> but we're going to do a walk. We started at Winspit Quarry, which was um, just, just, just behind us. Yeah. And we're going to go for a walk uh, along to um, St. Alden's Head and then round to Chaplin's Pool and Kimmeridge Way. So, and we'll end up in uh, Worth Matravers. We're actually on the south coast path, right? Or southwest coast path, should I say which is, I think it's the longest trail in England, I believe. Gosh. It's 630 miles. We're not going to do all of those no, today. No, I'm glad. Uh, I think it starts at Minehead in, in Somerset and then literally follows the coast all the way to sort of Devon, right. Cornwall, Dorset and back to um, uh, Poole. Um, that is a long, that is a long but trail. It's, it's quite a windy trail. And yeah. It does get very close to the cliff edge and there's a reason behind that because it, it was originally used by coast guards to walk from lighthouse to lighthouse Shall but we um, yeah but, but part of their job was to look out for smugglers so because of that the path had to get near to the edge of the cliff to be able to see yes down you can certainly see i mean behind us here there's a there is a boat i don't know if you can see that but uh, you know if that was smuggling uh, you could quite understand yeah. how it would work for the coast guards but uh, i think we said in the first video we're very fortunate the weather is absolutely uh, gorgeous today it is i'm sorry I've, I've suddenly gone up a high ridge <laughs> yeah. you're down there yeah. oh you're getting the worst path now. yes i'm getting the worst path yeah. with the with a slightly steeper view yeah. which doesn't do my vertigo much good not and, that uh, i really suffer from vertigo got, um, got my whip it logan with me you'll notice i'm holding on to him quite strongly at the moment yes hello logan Hi, let's have a look hello. hello logan you're worried about the cliff edge no, he says. He's not worried at all. Whispered in I'm my worried head. about the cliff edge. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm on the good side. Yes. I'm on the land yeah, side. Yeah. You're on the land slide. But, uh, the sea's certainly lovely and calm and blue. Right, well, let's press on and yeah. uh, see what we see. pause briefly because I wanted to I wanted to show you these rather peculiar uh, things you've got a whole load of uh, thicket here with spiders webs I assume they are just try and bring the camera into that and I don't know if you can see but there's caterpillars down there fascinating they're all over the place and all along this this whole coastline that these wild flowers of which I'm going to show my complete ignorance now I have no idea what they are but there's some amazing yellow ones <laughs> purple ones I've seen some thistles there's ones that look like cabbages there's uh, incredible and some butterflies all sorts are here and you just have to open your eyes and, and have a look but it, it does make you want to know what they are I wish I could identify them up ahead we have a rather craggy bit so um to be holding on to Dave for dear life there. We've made it up to what looks like the Coast Guard up ahead of us, but before that, there's a. It looks like a colander. Yeah. You've got to, you've got well, to toss we, a salad, <laughs> are you? Is that, what, is that the well, idea, Dave? We, we've made it to St Aldham's Head. We've uh, had a few um, ups to get here. Yeah. We've got here in the end. Yeah. Um, behind us, we've got this slightly unusual monument. It's designed by a local sculptor, Tim Viney, I think, or Tom Viney. 
and it's supposed to represent or, or commemorate the importance of the peninsula in uh, World War II with regards to radar development. Oh, okay. Um, and if you look very closely, it's actually sort of two radar dishes, dishes yeah. cunningly sort of pushed together to look like a, or it basically looks like a fire basket. So it represents the modern radar uh, and the old, which is the old fire beacons, which were used well to warn of the Spanish, see, Spanish Armada. It's a clever amalgamation of so the two. Slightly different, yeah. Um, so it's called um, St. Uh, well, it used to be called St. Alban's Head uh, after um, St. Alban, who was a, a Roman martyr that was executed uh, in the third century for his religious beliefs. Here. Uh, yeah, in this, oh, right. this area, um, but more recently, St. Old, uh, St. Old Helm's Head, um, he was, I better get this right, because I did write this down, he was, uh, yeah, Bishop of Sherborne, that's right, oh, okay. and very shortly we're going to have a look at the little chapel that's that's named after him, but I don't know if we can see in the distance, we, there's a, a terrific view oh, yes, uh, yes. of um, uh, well, the Portland, the island of Portland over there, uh, just coming through, there's almost like a mist there. Um, and then we're going to have a look at the little Coast Guard station, which is up to our right. That's the Isle of Island of Portland. Yes, yeah, so you've got Weymouth. Yes. We'll, have, we'll probably see more of it as we go around yes. the head very shortly. Yes. We've got Weymouth and Chesil Beach and, and Portland, but it just looks a bit atmospheric it does, here. It's with, amazing, uh, doesn't it? It's like it's rising like a, out of the sea. Yeah, yeah. I've just spotted some stairs going down, Dave. Yes. Um, just down in front of us, and there's some ruins of what looks like old houses well, it must it must be something possibly some coast guard cottages perhaps i'm gonna go and have yeah, a quick gander have a look. there's a lot of them probably easier coming up because i'm not looking down but let's just have a quick gander at these buildings <laughs> we're down here you all right up there dave He's at the top there. Yeah, these these got to be old original Coast Guard cottages or fishing cottages. Who knows? Maybe smugglers were in here. Interesting there. Just to have a quick nosy. Little rooms. just the domain of wildlife now but uh, yeah it's hard to tell at some point somebody lived or worked here well Clearly you could spend all day hunting around these. But it's just fascinating, absolutely fascinating. Right, better go and uh, rescue Dave. Oh blimey, I've just seen the stairs from this side. Yeah, that's a bit foreboding. On we go. so peaceful up here isn't it Dave? Uh, it is it's lovely absolutely it is lovely so peaceful we, yeah. we're very lucky just now we've uh, behind us is the coast um not coast guard is it's the lookout station or the coast i don't know what it they is, call it it is an old coast guard station it's, yes. now it's a lookout station oh yes that's manned right manned by volunteers and we've just had uh, you know, quite a fascinating 15 20 minutes or so in there we popped in yeah um we didn't feel it was right to sort of film because they probably got sensitive equipment and what yeah. have you but yeah, they were telling us all about the history and uh, what they they get up to. They're they're all volunteers, aren't yes, they? Yes, amazing. Um, they did. Uh, was the, it the national? I'll look it up in a second. They're uh, only they're only here the in national daylight. National Coast Watch Institution. That's it. Yeah. They're only here in daylight hours, but yeah. they there's a pair of them in there, and they showed us some equipment which could plot every craft in the area, and then expanded out and you can see the shipping lanes in the channel which is incredibly busy yeah you can't see from here but no. further out i couldn't believe it as you said it reminded me when you look on those um websites that tells you where all the airplanes are in the uh, yes sea, and it was similar just thing like that, yeah 
Well, we're going to move on from there, um, and we in the next video in our chain of videos, <laughs> we're going to uh, an interesting chapel, uh, which we're going to tell you a little bit about uh, in the next video. But we just want to come up here and just whet your appetite a little bit. Here it is approaching and then in the distance i think you can just see some more coast guard cottages which i think they're very reminiscent um, of the ones in sussex down at the seven sisters um, which are likely to fall into the uh, ocean because they're perched right on the edge of the cliffs there and there's sort of 18th century cottages but here it is this is a square chapel with a a lot of peculiarness about it but we're not going to tell you what that is in this video so dave once again another thank you taking me on not on the sure. coastal path yep um beautiful day we're so lucky oh yeah 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 that's um the next video lovely. you're going to take me a little bit further we're going to go in the chapel and we are and then we're going to continue along this southwest coast path and we're going to chapman's pool and kimridge bay and hopefully see some really beautiful views of even more of the coastline out to, to portland so join us for that. In the meantime, follow, like, subscribe, and leave a comment, uh, become a patron, all of that. But until then, go and have a cup of tea, wait for the next one, and we'll be back. <laughs> Bye for now. Cheerio. Bye-bye.